Hello, hi guys. Uh, today I'm going to show you the tricks uh, on how to deal with a uh, velocity diagram. So this is an impulse uh, turbine, right? So then uh, this is the diagram for velocity uh, uh, diagram. Yeah? So uh, first of all, we're going to start with uh, the with the, our initial velocity so our initial velocity is represented by u yeah. so when you are to calculate the initial velocity if you are given um, the diameter of the wheel and the revolution of the wheel so then our velocity is equal to pi d uh, times uh, n now so this one's our initial velocity sometimes they call it a uh, peripheral velocity so it right on uh, the left hand side of uh, okay the right hand side of the diagram on the right hand side we have an inlet angle here so represented by theta and an outlet angle right so uh, on the left hand side here we are talking about blades né? so these are blade blading and call it. these are blading so then uh, um if they said uh okay so uh, here is the blade and then we're going to have vr1 which is our initial okay our inlet velocity or which is the relative velocity number one and then we have our outlet velocity here number two which is uh, vr2 our relative velocity then uh if we are calculating uh if we have the value of vr1 then we want the value of vr2 that means velocity relative velocity number two is equal to velocity number one multiplied by k so this k is our coefficient of friction if uh, the blades uh, they have a uh, coefficient of friction due to uh, something uh, due to some resistance in uh, the blading that means uh, if one uh, the outlet uh, the outlet velocity we're going to use uh, the vr2 that means it's going to be vr1 multiplied by v, uh, k so if there is no uh, uh, coefficient of friction on the blade that means vr2 is equal to vr1 right and then uh, on the other side okay so this uh, is uh, the blade no? and then uh, this side is uh, the uh, turbine now yeah? so if we are talking about the turbine we are talking about uh, this uh, side so here we have uh, the angle the inlet angle of the turbine which is alpha and then we have the outlet angle of the turbine which is beta so this uh, outlet angle um, this inlet angle of the turbine sometimes is called a, a nozzle angle right so uh, this is the nozzle angle and then we have a uh, beta here which is uh, our outlet uh, velocity okay now i want us to concentrate on uh, the right hand uh, triangle uh, this uh, triangle so if we can just write this triangle here so this is uh, this is your initial velocity and then this one is v is vr1 and then we have v here and theta and then this alpha so here we have v1 this v1 is uh, the velocity that uh, leaves the nozzle or else is our inlet velocity on the turbine so if we concentrate only on the the right hand side um the triangle so this right hand side triangle we call it an, an inlet uh, triangle so everything that it enters the uh, system it uh, moves with the uh, right hand uh, the right hand uh, side triangle so this is an inlet angle right so this inlet angle is on the blade now so this is the blade angle or the inlet blade angle with a velocity with a relative velocity to the blade angle so which is the inlet velocity of uh, the blade right and then on the other side at the side we have uh, the inlet angle of the turbine right Some, uh, and then it call it a nozzle angle 
so here v1 is the inlet velocity on the turbine uh, sometimes they say it is the, the velocity that leaves the uh, nozzle right and then uh, on the uh, left hand side of uh, the diagram the triangle uh, on the left hand side let's look at this triangle on it and then here is beta and then have alpha this is u then vr1 and then this is vr2 okay so then uh, here we have um okay so okay so m is uh this one is the blade still on the right hand side is a blade uh, on the left hand side we have uh, on the left hand side is the turbine right so this one is an outlet uh, angle no? it's an outlet angle of the blade which is a play outlet angle of the blade and then we have a vr2 here which is a relative velocity or is the velocity leaving or is an outlet velocity of the blade and then we have an outlet velocity of the turbine so which is the velocity that exit the turbine right so this is the velocity that exit the blade this is the velocity that exit the turbine and then we have an exit angle right so if the if they say that this diagram is uh, is an axial discharge or is subjected to an axial discharge that means beta here will be equals to 90 degrees that means you don't have um, they won't give you uh, the value they will just tell you that uh, this uh, the, the diagram is subjected to a, a di axial discharge that means here you just we're going to draw a straight line uh, on your diagram na? on your diagram you just draw a straight line which is going to be 90 degrees which is subjected to an axial discharge right and then uh, we have uh, the formula uh, okay so okay these are the tricks now that you have to understand but uh, okay the real tricks are here on the formulas so if they say it, uh, it's an exit discharge you know that it is 90 degrees and then uh, if they say it, uh, this diagram is subjected it doesn't have an end trust né? an end trust first so uh, you know that a force uh, end trust force is equal to uh, mass multiplied by velocity number final velocity and uh, minus final velocity number two right so this is the formula to calculate an end trust force right so an end trust force is equal to the mass multiplied by final velocity number one which is this final velocity divided by okay minus by our final velocity number two this side which is our final velocity so if they say that there is no end of trust in the diagram so that means uh, on the diagram uh, v1 and v5 vf1 and vf number two will be equals to, will be equal right so if vf2 uh, okay if you, you you just calculated this side maybe is a uh, five meters per second then you know that uh, on the other side will be five meters per second so then you will just draw a line here if there is no entrust so that means that this line must be equal to this um, this diameter nah? this uh, dimension must be equal to this dimension therefore if it's five meters per second this side even this side should be five meters per second and then uh, to calculate uh, the uh, to calculate uh, power so the formula to calculate power here to say power is equals to uh, so power is equals to uh, the mass multiplied by our initial velocity multiplied by our, our total velocity so our total velocity is measured from this point up to uh, this point la uh, on the final uh, okay so this is uh, our total total velocity right so if you, you measured 
Yeah, so but you have to make sure that the, uh, the line is a straight line from here up to here. So then it will give you your fi uh, final. Uh, so you uh, your final um, final velocity. So if you calculate power, then means the power is equal to mass multiplied by vel uh, by in mass multiplied by initial velocity multiplied by total velocity. Right. So and then uh, you will have a a tolerance. Right tolerance when the, we are marking on the marking center you will have a tolerance of plus or minus two meters per second so that means your values here when you draw this diagram it must be okay we can allow it to be more than two if the answer the final answer here is five centimeters five millimeters uh, Per second meters per second that means when uh, if you wrote uh, maybe uh, seven meters or six point something uh, meters per second we can uh, give you this max but if it's more than uh, five if it's more than two so that means if you have a uh, eight then it's wrong so if it's less than a uh, two uh, is still uh, wrong so it the answer must be in between so or else if you have uh, here your answer is is four point something or five or four or three right three meters per second then we can still give you the max but if it's less than these uh, two your tolerance is two is plus or minus two then make sure that when you draw uh, it must be not more than these are uh, two right and then when you calculate a uh, diagram efficiency diagram efficiency is equals to your uh, it's two multiplied by it's two multiplied by uh, initial velocity multiplied by total velocity over uh, our velocity uh, our inlet velocity of the uh, of the turbine squared multiplied by 100 so this is your uh, initial velocity okay this is your diagram efficiency diagram efficiency is equals to 2 uh, multiplied by initial velocity multiplied by total velocity divided by v1 squared right so uh okay let's just uh, recap the perform uh, the velocity diagram we have uh, the right hand side is your inlet is your blade right so on the blade we have an inlet blade angle and the, the inlet blade angle it uh, goes with the inlet velocity which is vr1 and then when uh, on this other side we have uh, the uh, outlet angle uh, outlet blade angle right outlet blade angle it goes with uh, the outlet velocity outlet blade velocity or this okay vr2 then when you want to, to calculate vr2 vr2 will be equal to vr1 multiplied by k which is our coefficient of friction so if you don't have a coefficient of friction that means vr2 is equal to vr1 and then on the left hand side the side we have uh, our relative velocity right okay on the left hand side we have the uh, turbine so here on the turbine we have the blade uh, we have the angle that leaves okay this we have a nozzle angle nozzle angle it goes with a nozzle velocity or else is an inlet uh, angle or, or inlet of the turbine uh, of the and then it has the inlet velocity of the turbine and then on the other side is an outlet or a discharge angle this discharge angle is beta and it goes with a v2 right so then if this air diagram is subjected to an axial uh, discharge that means beta will be equal to 90 degrees which going to be this straight line